Hello. Today we are looking at how to install Steam as a flat pack on a Chromebook. Firstly, we will enable Linux apps on our Chromebook. To do this, we will go to our system settings and click on the Linux icon on the left panel in our settings. Now we will turn on the Linux apps. Now that we have enabled Linux apps on our system and we will continue to the next step, which is to run several commands in a terminal, which will install CRUDA. All the commands are in the video description. Now we will copy the first command and open a terminal session from our app menu. Next, we will paste the command into our terminal, either with a two-finger click on your terminal or click Control. Shift and V together. This command will update our Linux apps repositories. This command should run automatically as soon as you paste it into a terminal session. Now we will install Flatpak with the second command. Now click enter to being the installation and the process will start. With the next step, we will enable the official FlatHub repository on our Chromebook. Now we will install Steam. We will copy the last command into our terminal. Press enter to confirm the installation. Press enter again. This is a long process so we are going to fast forward it. Steam is now installed on your Chromebook. Now we will go ahead and launch it and run the initial updates and so forth. As you can see Steam is installed on our Chromebook, unfortunately my screen recorder crashed when I launched Steam, so I will stop recording my screen now and continue the tutorial with screenshots of the process. So please start the setup by clicking on the Steam icon. As you can see on this screenshot that Steam starts to download an update after starting it up, now we just need to wait for the download process to complete. Now we moved on to the next step, sometimes between the steps, it will look like nothing is happening, but just wait it through. In this step, Steam will extract and install the installation package which we just downloaded. Now we are looking at the next screenshot where the update is being set up and the initial setup process is complete. Now we will start to video record the tutorial again. Now that we are finished with the setup, we need to go to our menu again and launch Steam once more.
As you can see, Steam just started and you can enjoy it. We will quickly show you a screenshot of our Steam library after login into our account. Have fun!